the alligators and crocodiles uh, are different families of the order Crocodilia. This is an American alligator skull and the first thing to notice is it has a very broad skull with a rounded snout. So this uh, may be because the al alligators eat a lot of hard-shelled prey like turtles and crabs and the broad skull is very strong and enables it to resist the shock of crunching up this hard uh, kind of food. The other thing about the alligator skull is that the lower jaw is slightly narrower than the upper jaw. So when the alligator's jaws are closed, the lower teeth actually fit in to the upper jaw. There are grooves in the upper jaw. So when its mouth is closed in a live gator, all you see protruding will be the upper row of teeth. So here's a classic crocodile skull. It's a saltwater crocodile and it has a much more triangular shape to the skull and it's slenderer, coming to more of a point. And we think this is possibly because they are much more generalist feeders. By that I mean that they feed on a wider range of prey. So a big Nile crocodile can get hold of large mammals, can bring down wildebeest and zebras, but um, they still have uh, a narrow enough skull to make them able to move fast enough to feed on fish. Now the other uh, big difference with the uh, true crocodile skull is that you'll see the teeth. When the um, jaws are close together, the teeth fit in amongst each other. Here's a nice example. You can see the very large fourth tooth uh, back on the lower jaw sticking up and if you look at the top, you can see there are these notches where the, the jaw actually narrows to allow these large teeth to stick through. And there you have the nice toothy smile of a true crocodile. So another uh, key difference between alligators and crocodiles, um, which is quite difficult uh, to see an issue very close up, is um, around the jaws especially um, of alligators and crocodiles um, are these small dark raised uh, domes and they called integumentary sense organs or dermal sensory receptors and uh, we think they for sensing movement around the crocodile in the water changes in the pressure um, and that's perhaps partly because the crocodile's eyes are up on the top and so it's quite difficult for them to see what's going on around them in the water and that would help them uh, for catching prey particularly in the dark and, and in murky conditions in the water. Um, so the key difference here is that crocodiles have these all over their bodies. Um, on their body scales, they'll have one on each scale. Whereas for reasons unknown, the alligators, the Chinese and American alligator, only have these around their mouths. Uh, one final uh, difference which I'll mention, which you can't actually see, is that crocodiles have salt glands on their tongues which help them to process salt and uh, to survive in very salty conditions for longer. And so, of course, the saltwater crocodile, also called the estuarine crocodile, can swim very long distances and remain in seawater for long periods of time. And the alligators don't have these glands. So there's, uh, there are some of the major differences between alligators and crocodiles. You should now be able to tell the difference if you should meet them in a zoo or in the wild. And uh, just remember, if you should meet a large alligator or a crocodile in the wild, and you can see and count the integumentary sense organs, you're probably too close. Mm -hmm.